Hi, Ben. Have Hi, Sharon. You, have you noticed the time? No. Nine. No, I can't see a clock. Eight. It's eight o'clock. Seven. It's, no, the hours six, go forwards usually, not backwards. Five. Sh- oh, the seconds four, on your watch. Three. What are we counting down to, two, Sharon? Two. One. One. Kids Kira. church time. Kids. Oh, oh, you, they're there. You could have told me, like, instead well, of just I, counting down. I thought you knew when kids church started. Well, you thought wrong. Okay. Well, it's kids church time, so welcome to kids church. And welcome to our house. And welcome to your house. And if you're watching this at someone else's house from church, welcome to their house. Yep. Welcome wherever you are. Mm. Now, this is the last week of Kids Church for a little while because it's the last week of the school term. Yes. And while at school holidays, you don't go to school and we don't have Kids Church either. No. So it's a good time to everyone, for everyone to have a bit of a break. Hmm. But and the kids can watch the grown-up service. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. They, they might not be doing that anyway. So. They might be. Not at the same time. Yeah. That would I mean, be. they could have like one screen there and one screen there and... But that would be foolishness. Anyway, let's get back on track. I feel like we're getting off topic. Yes. Okay, so this is the last one that we're going to do for this term. So all three of us were supposed to turn up this morning. Well, we are. We're here. You, me, and... and The three of us, though. The dog. No, no, no. no. under your seat, actually. The dog isn't the third person. No, of course not. The dog's not a person. No, there's normally someone else that helps out with kids' church videos. Andy with the egg? He did have an egg that time. He did. And he may have eggs other times as well, but he did help that time. There's someone else who likes to think they help a lot more than they potentially do. They talk a lot, they get off track, they remind me a little bit of you sometimes. But, well, they are fluffy as well, but they're a lot shorter than you. And a lot greener than you. Cliff? Yes, Cliff. Where is he? Uh, w- Does he was not he meant your... to be meeting you here? Yes, there's supposed to be all three of us doing like the last week of kids' church together. Okay. I didn't know that. You didn't tell me. Well, I told him. That's between you and him. Yeah, but his watch must not be working. Can he even read the time? That may also be a problem. He does have a phone. He does. You should call him. Oh, your phone's flat. I can't even see my phone. I'll give him a call later and see where he's at. Mm. Okay. So You do that. This week, yeah, because we really need him for the last... And we really need it. I think we just wipe that off and just keep going. He's not here. So we've got to do more stuff here. Yes, we yes. need to keep going. So, let's see. What's next? I'll just have a look on the list. Ah, what are we talking about today? We are going to be talking about something that we do sometimes at school with, like, spelling. And sometimes you might do it at the end of the term to see how much you've learnt. Like a spelling test? We're giving the kids a spelling Ding! test? You're not wow, having a what spelling a way to end test. The term. We're not having a test, but we are talking about tests today. Because right. in 2 Corinthians, it talks about tests. Okay. But it's a different kind of test because it's a test that you give yourself. Very interesting. I look forward to hearing about that. Mm. Hmm. So we'll have a bit of a look about that later. Look about. Look about. We'll unpack it. Unpack. We'll explain it. Explain. And we'll learn. Learn. Okay. I think that's all we have to say about that. Well, I clearly that. have nothing to say. So what should we do now? We should go to something else. Okay. What about if we do some revision? Revision's like a test That's what word. you should do before a test. We've been learning a memory verse. Yes. So I reckon we should cram and do lots of revision and see if we can remember it really well and try and do lots of remembering of the memory verse today. Well, okay then. Okay, so right. let's do it. Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17.
singing. Singing. belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. 2 Corinthians 5 verses 17. Guess what it's time for? It's Bible reading time. So we're going to open our Bibles up to 2 Corinthians chapter 13. Well, at least I'm going to open my Bible up and you can watch the screen and listen to me read. Here we go. Look closely at yourselves. Test yourselves to see if you are living in the faith. You know that Christ Jesus is in you unless you fail the test. But I hope you will see that we ourselves have not failed the test. We pray to God that you will not do anything wrong. It is not important to see that we have passed the test, but it is important that you do what is right, even if it seems that we have failed. We cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the truth. We are happy to be weak if you are strong. And we pray that you will grow stronger and stronger. Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten. And everything is new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17.
Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. 2 Corinthians 5.17our story today I'll need your help I'll need your help to cheer and you're going to need to shout yes Maria we believe are you ready welcome one and welcome all welcome to the most amazing stunt show of all times today for your entertainment we will take you all the way to the largest waterfall in the whole entire world. And here we are, ready for the stunt show at the largest waterfall in the entire world. Today, we will witness the most amazing event as Maria crosses the waterfall. The greatest tightrope walker in all the world will attempt to walk across the entire waterfall. Hi Maria! Let's give Maria a big Valley Kids Church welcome. And now for your entertainment, Maria will perform the death-defying tightrope walk. Quiet please. One step. Ooh, a wobbly second step. And she's halfway. Ooh, she's making. Oh, what's this? Ooh, looks like she's recovered. And she's almost there. <gasps> One step away. And she's made it! Yay! And the crowd goes wild. That's when you cheer. Yay! Maria has done it. But wait, hang on, what's this? It looks like Maria's got something to say. She's saying that she's crossed the waterfall from one end to the other. But this isn't the end. This isn't the end of this amazing death-defying stunt. What on earth could come next? Well, Maria's saying that she's gone from one side to the other, but now she wants to cross all the way back. <gasps> this sounds impossible, but the crowd cries out. Yes, Maria, we believe. Yes, Maria, we believe. And so once again, Maria walks the rope. And Maria takes her time. Two steps across. She's heading towards the middle of the rope already. She's looking very confident. Oh, but what's this? Oh no! She's there's hands, there's feet going everywhere. She's oh, she's regained her balance. She's nearly at the end. One step away from the other side, and she's made it. And the crowd is going absolutely berserk. Crowd go berserk. Ta-da! Yay! But what's this? Maria is trying to get our attention again. She's crossed once. She has crossed twice. Does she want to go a third time? Or is there something else? I think she might have something else in mind. What is this? It looks like... It looks like she has a green bucket. What could she be thinking? Maria is asking, do we think she could cross carrying a green bucket? What do we think? Do we believe it? Yes, Maria, we believe. Okay, well she steadies herself, gets a good grip on the bucket, and here she goes again for a third time, a 
across the road. <gasps> One step and two. She's nearly there. She's halfway with that bucket. This is one of the most amazing, amazing exhibits I've ever seen in my entire life. And she's almost there with a bucket as well. One more step and she'll be all the way across. Wow! And the crowd is absolutely amazed. They are on their feet. They are standing. They are clapping. They are so amazed. Yay! Maria! We think, oh, she's asking for our attention again. I've gone once, I've gone twice, I've gone with a bucket. Do you think, hang on, what, she's, what is that she's saying? That she wants to cross carrying someone in the bucket. She wants to have a, someone, a volunteer from the children to get in the bucket that she can cross with. <gasps> Wow, Maria, you are amazing. What do we think? Do we believe that Maria could do it? And the crowd cried out, Yes, Maria, we believe you can do it. Then Maria asked for someone to come forward. And there was silence. And no one came forward to get into the bucket. You see, kids, in this story, the kids said, we believe you, Maria. But when it really came down to trusting her, it turned out that they didn't fully trust her. When their trust was tested, they didn't trust her enough to be the person who got carried across the waterfall. They did not pass the trust test with Maria. Kids, we need to think about whether we really believe Jesus is our saviour. We might sing songs about Jesus and believing he is our king. But when it comes down to the test, when we look closely at ourselves, do we pass this test of knowing Jesus is in control of our lives? Do we just say we believe? Or do we really trust Jesus? with our whole heart. Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. 2 Corinthians 
5, verse 17. Anybody who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. 2 Corinthians 517 Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 Ben, I think it would be a really good time now if we took some time to pray. I think that would be an excellent idea. Well, how should we go about that? Well, what I like to do is I like to close my eyes so I'm not distracted by anything and I like to bow my head for the same reason. So, if you guys could all bow your head and close your eyes, then that makes praying a lot easier. And, well, I find I fidget sometimes as well. Mm. So, I sometimes have my hands together, uh, like that or like that, or even just just like that, in my lap, so I'm not fidgeting with things as well because when I'm praying, I want to give God my full attention. Yep. That's a great plan. So, I'm going to pray, and if you'd like to do all the things that Ben just said, let's do that so we don't get distracted and we can all be praying to God together. All right, let's close our eyes, bow our heads and put our hands out of the way and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you that we can all be having Kids Church here today. We want to thank you for the leaders of our countries and our schools. We pray that you'll be with them to help them to make wise and good decisions. We thank you for the people who work for caring for other people and providing other people with all the things that they need. People like doctors and nurses and ambulance drivers and all the people that even just work in shops, they're really important jobs. We thank you for them and pray that you will keep them safe. We think of the people that might be sick at this time and we pray that you will help them to get well and that you'll help their families to be with them and for them not to be sick as well. We'd also like to think of the Bible reading that we were just reading today. And remember that just like in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, that both us kids and adults, that we'll be able to look closely at our hearts to make sure that we really have you as number one in our lives. And we pray that when we look closely at ourselves and test ourselves, that we will pass and that we will pass because of the grace that you've given us. Please help us to have a good holiday between now and the next Kids Church and we pray that we'll be able to meet together soon. Amen. Amen. Well, I think that's really the end of Kids Church today. Yeah, it is. And we will see you... In a couple of weeks' time. We really hope so, because there is, well, there is some news that we might be having kids' church soon. Mm, we have maybe. to work out all the details and see how it's going to work exactly, but hopefully we get to see you in person, and that will be such an exciting day. It will. And, I mean, this has been fun, but meeting in person is much better. It is, because like, we get to hear you back. Yes. And we it's not really... just us talking all the time. Yeah. You, you might get to ask us to stop talking. That's probably one of the first things you can ask us can to do. Can you stop talking? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we we're really looking forward to seeing you guys again. We have missed meeting with you. And we know that the other kids' church leaders as well have really missed seeing you guys too. So it's not just us. And um, we're really looking forward to that. So 
I think we have got a couple of little other things. I did try to ring Cliff, but his phone's just ringing out. I don't know if it's flat. And I did check the message. The message I sent him said, can you meet us here at 10 to 10? So I'm really sorry that Cliff hasn't come through today. Hmm. Um, Maybe he'll come back next term when we start Kids Church again. But um, I'm sorry, you've just had to put up with me and Ben today. Yep. Oh, well. Anyway. I've got to put up with us all the time. (laughs) So I think there's a couple of little things next. Hopefully, you, we've had so much of the memory verse today, you've just been like it's in your skull and it will never leave. Yes. Yep. Except your lips. It's allowed to leave your lips. It can, but yep. it still kind of remains in your brain in your he- as well. In your head, and, yeah. yeah. So anyway. So I think we might have one or two more of them coming yes. up and another song. Woo! Yeah, I like this song. It's it, I don't like bananas, but this is a na-na song. Na-na. Yep. So... Enjoy the next little bit and we'll see you back next term. See ya. This is DJ Maddie with the lads and the Na Na song. Get ready to move to the never failing, ever remaining promises of God. Let's go. God is with you when you rise. So move yourself to the left and the right. He's with you when you're up and down. And bounce and pop down to the ground. God is with you. 24 7 left and right keep on stepping he's with you through the highs and lows clap clap your hands as you go yeah here we go wherever you go you were never alone god is with you all the time through the day and through the night wherever you go you were never alone and god is with you all the time Do you got it? I don't know. This time I want you to holler out the promises while you move. Look, like this. God is with me when I rise. So move yourself to the left and the right. He's with me when I'm up and down. So bounce and bump down to the ground. That's right. God is with me 24 7. Left step right. Keep on stepping. He's with me through the high and low. Clap your hands as you go. Now raise your arms and say. Oh, right, now I'm here. I'm here, but they're not. Why are they not here? They said to meet them here at 11 minutes to 11, to, no, 11 10, 10 minutes to 11. And I'm here, and they're not. 10 minutes to 11, why would it be 10 minutes to 11? Why would they say that? It's it starts at 10 o'clock. But they t- Oh, no. I think they might have told me 10 minutes to 10, but I've come here at 10 minutes to 11 and that's why they're not here and now I've got to go home and they're not here and hopefully they, hopefully they were able to do it. But, but, but I really wanted to help. Oh, oops. Oh no. All right. So what will I do? What will I do? What will I do? I know I am going to go home. Yep. And it's the holidays soon. Like. Like next week, so I get to hibernate for a fortnight. Oh, yay! I'm going to go and sleep in my bed. Oh, two weeks of sleeping. Oh, that's magnificent. I'm going to go to the toilet.